हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल नैनोटेक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू मेक अ वाटर टैंक व्हिच इज यूज्ड इन मोस्ट ऑफ द हाउसेस इन पाकिस्तान सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस सो द क्रियो पैरामेट्रिक 9.0 इज ओपन लेट्स गो टू द न्यू देन न्यू फाइल पार्ट सॉलिड दिस वी विल एंड अनचेक एंड वी विल क्लिक ओके then we will go to mms part solid abs just to get all the measurements in millimeters so this is our creo parametric 9.0 interface so we will start with the with the extrude command so we will be clicking extrude then we will select the relevant plane and it's uh, this is our working environment so here i need to draw a circle first here i need to change its diameter to 150 uh, i mean 1500 mm so this is the circle now i will click okay i will rotate it and i will see this i can flip upwards or downwards whatever i like so now i need the height of this extrusion to 1500 so automatically this is selected as 1500 just to recheck i will reenter the dimension so here i will click okay so this is my tank body now we have to draw the inlet of the tank on the top for that i will first choose the plan where i need to work then i will go to the revolve command so this is this is it now i will select the line line chain so i need to draw a line here from here to here this line i need of 200 mm this is the this is the straight line now i will select arc three point arc i will click here then i will click here so this is the point which i want to maintain you can see the orange uh, center point is right in the middle of the tank body so i will click here then i will go for dimension of this arc then i will double click here with the scroll scroll button so i will enter 1500 okay now this is perfect now what i need to do is i need to create a center line before revolving it because without the center line it will not work the revolve command so the center line is done from this here this is my center point so i will press escape then i will press okay so now you can see a dome shaped uh, surface has been created here which which looks more like a more like a tank body here this one so this is all okay solid this is all okay 360 degree uh, uh, rotation i don't need to remove the material so this is all okay so i will click here okay now you can see the dome of the tank body has been created now i need to work on this upper uh, plane so for that reason i need to create a plane that would be parallel to this plan so i need to go to this option plan option so i will choose this plan and from this plan my new plan would be offset at 17 10 mm okay so you can see at 17 1710 mm i created this uh, new plan okay so i need to draw few things here so i will select this point and then i will go to sketch okay 
So here I need some rectangles just to draw the upper surface of the tank. I need to design something here. So I will be choosing here the center rectangle. So here and here. The length is not an issue, but the width is important for me. So I will keep the width like I want, but the length is not an issue. So similarly, I will create an other rectangle with the center rectangle command like this. So the length is not an issue. The width is important for me. So I will press escape here. Then I have to redefine this width. So this is all done from my side. Okay, now I need a rectangle again, a center rectangle. This I will create here something like this okay so now I need to give some dimensions to this rectangle uh, so the dimension is 600 by 600 now I will press escape and then I need to see the dimensions okay so the dimensions are here uh, 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 this one okay so this is my required dimension I will drag it down here and where is my next dimension? The second one I need from here to here and then I will press the scroll button. So this I need 600. And uh, where is the other one? That is again missing. So I will take the dimension again. Uh, I will click here, here and here. Okay, so actually it was a, a square. So that is why both of the sides are same. So I think that is not an issue. So I will proceed with this. Mm -mm. Okay. So one dimension I need to delete because they are uh, somehow interacting with each other. So that's how I want to create the center uh, square. Now I need to select all, all these sides. So I will press escape, then I will select this one. Now I'm, I'm pressing the control key button and I'm selecting all these sides of the square. After I have selected this, I have to go to this, rotate resize, this command. So now you can see I have multiple options here, but what I need to do is I need to uh, rotate it to 45 degree. So I will enter 45. You can see the square has been rotated. Now I will click OK. So that's how I need the body. I need the top body of the tank like this. Now I need to use the trim command very carefully. So we will go to the trim option. Now you can see how I trim the parts which are not necessary or which are not required for me so okay before doing that I need to draw a circle here again center point with center point so this one actually the diameter of this circle is also 1500 uh, just like the diameter of the tank so this is just to close this loop I mean I will be trimming this part so I, I put this circle just to close this area. So you will see what is the use of this circle. So now I will start the trimming. Here, I don't need this part now. So I will trim it. Now you can see it's all trimmed. I don't need this, I don't need this. Similarly, this one, this one. Now I will go to this point here. Here, this are all I don't need. I will come to here, this one, this one, this also I don't need. Now the uh, the critical part is inside. This we have to do with the slight care, like this one, this one, this one is not required. Similarly, this one, this one. Okay, now I zoom in here here and this one 
I don't need this one complete. I don't need this one, this one, and this one. So actually, you have to trim like this, like I am doing it, because if you zoom in, there are lesser chances of any mistake. So I would recommend you the same procedure. So this one I don't need. Okay, there is a small line. This I also need to trim. Okay, done. Here, I don't need this area. That's all removed. So this one also, I don't need it. So now you can see. So this one also. Okay. Okay. So this one also I don't need. So I will remove all this stuff here, 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 here. Let's see if anything is remaining. Okay, if anything is remaining, we will be getting an error here. So far, looks good. And it looks like a closed loop. Okay, so now I will press escape. I can see some errors here. Okay, I, I got it. So, this one from here to here. Okay. Okay, so the, the body, this uh, upper part which we have created separately is uh, turned into pink color. It means it is a closed loop. So now we are good to go with the extrusion. So I will click OK. And I will extrude. So you can see the extrusion has been done. And that's how we wanted to do it but uh, we wanted to invert it. So the length is actually too much, but uh, we don't need this much. So we will select here roughly 250. That should be fine. So it is somewhere here. So my point is that it should touch the body. So it is touching from all sides. So this is fine for me. So I will click OK here. So you can see now it it's making some sense and it's looking more like a water tank. Okay, so I will be uh, extruding the center part. Uh, like you know, a tank is always having a, a inlet. So here I need to draw a circle. Let me see the dimensions. Okay, the center hole is Okay, so 400. So this circle I need of diameter 400. So I will take the dimension of this circle, this circle. So here. So here is my dimension. And uh, this one I need it to be. Okay, let's take the dimension again here. Okay, so this I need 400. No, there is some mistake. Okay, I need the 400, but, uh, but uh, this is not correct. 400. No. Okay. Okay. There was some line which I just removed. So now it should accept the 400 diameter. So this is all okay. So this I will extrude. So the height of extrusion will be roughly 50 millimeter. So 50 millimeter I will put here around two inches. So I will enter and then I will click OK. So this is the inlet of my tank. Okay. So 
this is all done so now I will start with the round command and I will add the required radius here let's say 20 I will add here and I will start clicking all the sides okay no this I don't want to choose so I will just uncheck it so this side this side so it's taking a little bit of time so I'm gonna pause this video for a while and I will come back so guys we have completed the edge command almost all sides are covered you can see now we will click OK and let's see what happens so all the edges are now round you can see it's all round and it's it looks like more uh, beautiful than it was uh, earlier so I need to round the bottom as well so this one I will keep uh, let's say 25 so this one this side uh, okay here this is also done so now I will click OK so it's it's almost all 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 is done so now I need to make some impression of the lower body for that I need to choose any of the plan so I will go to the extrude command mm, no let's go to the revolve so okay so first I need to uh, select the plan then I will go to revolve command first I need the center line here from here to here because without a center line it will not work so now I need to add a circle here on the outer part of the body here so this diameter we need to select this diameter as uh, 80 let's say 80 okay so now i will click okay now you can see the impression on the body okay so now i will click okay now i have to check this command i mean we have to click it then i have to go to pattern in order to make the similar impression on the remaining part of the body so from dimensions i have to go into the direction command then i have to select the round okay i have to choose the axis now you can see from this axis i need six numbers of the impression and in between i need 230 distance between those impressions so i will click ok ok so this is done ok so all is done so i will remove this uh, plans and uh, our tank is complete now the last thing is remaining I need to shell it because uh, from inside it's like a solid so far uh, it's not hollow because uh, we were using extrusion command extruding command or revolving command command so from inside it's a solid to make it a shell we need to go to the shell command we need to put the thickness of this tank that should be roughly three millimeter then I have to choose the plan which I need to remove so here then I will click OK so now this is hollow you can see from here 
you can see the internal impressions so this is from uh, this is in uh, hollow from inside now in order to recheck or for your information i can go to the planner i can turn on these planes i can i can click any of the plane mostly this cross sectional would be better so you can see here very nicely see the the body is actually a shell now it is no more a solid from inside so you can see from here it's three millimeter thick and this is hollow from inside so i will keep it like this and i will click ok i will unselect all these so this is done now to have a better impression and to have a better overview i can change the appearance here i need to select it the whole uh, tank then i can go to different options just to see how this tank looks like in different colors so i will choose the one which looks best which suits best so let me try any other so this is the red one it looks good i think so that's all and from here we can also put some shadings you can see the reflection it looks very nice very nice tank i need the same for my house <laughs> okay so that's all guys thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe my channel uh, i will be posting more interesting videos in future thank you so much bye bye